Hello fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew slippery fabric. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Before I sew I just want to show you some of the problems that can occur with sewing slippery fabrics. The first one as you can see here where I started to sew the seam and what can happen is your fabric can get jammed into the actual uh, needle throat plate so I'm going to show you how to resolve that problem first. What can cause a problem is the actual hole that's here, still to slit, where the actual bobbin thread comes through and your fabric can get jammed in that hole because it's quite slippery and soft and so therefore that will cause a jamming that I've shown you. And a way to alleviate that problem is to get some sticky tape. You need a small piece and just put it over the actual like so you don't want it on the uh, your teeth and then put your feet back on bring your threads to the back and then another thing I would like to mention is that when you're working with slippery fabrics um, and if you don't have a uh, fine silk pins, make sure that you put your pins in parallel to the actual raw edge and within the seam allowance. So now I can start sewing from the actual edge and that will help with the problem. If not, you can come just a little bit into your work and start sewing from that point. Let's do this. Problem resolved. The next problem that I'm going to show you to resolve when sewing slippery fabric is your stitch. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of rooching happening here, and two causes could be for this is that you need the right stitch length and you also need to make sure that you are on a lower thread tension so make sure that when you take your work that you're not still in the same kind of mode when you did your last sewing project so remember you need a shorter stitch length and also make sure the tension for your thread is slightly slacker before I start stitching you do need to remember that you need the fine needle this is a line stroke 70 and also make sure that you have um, a fine thread so that coats with the fibres within your silky slippery type fabrics. Now when I'm actually going to do my stitching I need to make sure that my thread tension is on a, a slack a lower number than you would normally have and also use a shorter length of stitch. Needle down Guide your work through. Don't pull, remember. Pull your pins as you go along. Pull them out. I'll just stop there. Now just take that to the table and I'll make the comparison between them both. I hope now you can see the difference between them both. This one looks really as though it needs to be unpicked and start again and as you can see the beginning here is, is, is bulky and you don't want that in your work you need to make sure that your seam is looking like the one on this section just to recap be prepared make sure you've got a size 9 or a size 70 needle and make sure you have a suitable thread for your actual silky type fabrics and you can get silk type um, thread as well now when you actually come to sewing your silky fabrics do remember that you can always put a tiny bit of sticky tape over the hole that you find in your throat plate that's where the uh, bobbin thread comes through and then remember you need a smaller stitch length and do alter the thread tension and you should be okay with that said any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time